Robbie, what are you doing today? You look like you're not at home. No, we're not at home. This is at home with Robbie, not at home with Robbie with the sewage pump that's not working. Well, what's all this stuff laying out here on the ground, Mr. Robbie? Well, we, previous to recording the episode, we determined that it was not this, that this pump was not working properly. Hold on, I got a pump pump. All right, as you were saying, Mr. Robbie. Well, we determined that it was not this pump, that this pump was not working right. And so we've already been to Ruland Plumbing Supply, Concord, North Carolina on Highway 73. And we got this new Liberty pump that we're gonna replace this not functioning pump with. So what we've done is we've taken this, which this connects down into the pump, pump the sewage up and out. We've disconnected it from the old pump that's not working. And we've got our other fitting that we've already screwed into this pump. Now what we have to do is to cut right behind this fitting so we can glue these two together. And once the glue dries, we can set it down in there, make the connection, and you'll have a perfectly good sewage system once again. Well, Mr. Robbie, why are you cutting off this fitting when it, when it looked perfectly good on that pipe and putting it on, on another fitting? Well, come a little closer so you can see. This one right here has an inch and a half threads. This is a two inch to inch and a half male adapter. And this pump right here is two inches. So you have to make sure that the thread size is just right for that one too. So this one won't work in that one. And like uh, for us, Ruland made sure that this one had taller legs. That way the height will line up perfectly and you won't have your pipe in a bind. That's awesome. You know, Ruland does have other offices in other parts of the state, like uh, Union County, up around Winston-Salem, Landis. So you can go anywhere to find rulings. Can't go wrong with ruling plumbing supply. Got the end cut off of that thing. Now how do you assemble that assembly right there, sir? Now, to properly glue pipe, you need primer and glue. And what I always like to do is I always like to keep them in my specially made custom box made in the Boy Scouts by. That way I always know where my stuff is. Man, that's a nice looking box. Look like it'd be really handy, man. You Got can. that handle, nice paint job. Them Boy Scouts can really build some pretty stuff, I'm down here. Well, so this one's specific. You can't even buy them this good. That, that is awesome. So you take this purple primer, and you want to give a good, even coat on the inside. This primer makes sure that the plastic is ready for glue, and it helps the glue bond. Now yep. that we have them both primers, now ready to glue both of these together. Make sure you wipe off any dirt or grass or, or anything else that's on there. Put a good thick coat of glue on this, on the pipe itself. Make sure to get the end. Put a good amount of glue inside the fitting. And then you just wanna stick it together. Make sure it pushes all the way down in there. And I like to give it a little bit of a twist make sure if there's any air bubbles in the glue that you get all of those out of there too. Is that how we want it? Something like that? No. That's good. That's awesome. Is that all there is to it? Well, when you're a professional, 